Hi, good evening guys. Welcome to class. In this class we're going to talk about British slang. So this week we've had uh, several sessions. There's just so much to get through. So hopefully all of you who uh, want a seat can get, get a seat in this. Amar, good to see you again. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Have you sorted out yet? What? Is it all, so is it all sorted? What sorted? The pool. The pool. You've had a couple of hours. You must have sorted it by now. No, we have uh, some an 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 instruction. Uh, our our neighbor build his house. A, a lot of dust. Oh yes, yeah, so there's some yeah. construction work going on or something. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, that's cool. But anyway, yeah. So are you okay? Anyway, what did you eat for dinner? Hmm. I ate. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say it best. In Arabic, we call it uh, sambusa. Sambusa. <laughs> yeah. Could you write this down? Could you write this down? Uh, but not in Arabic. Yeah, I can't read it Arabic. Um, Sonia just asked how I can join this class. How you can join this class? There should be a button that says "Join Class." Yeah, on on the video stream in the top right-hand corner. Should be green. It should say "Join Class." If there's a spot, feel free to to press it, and you're welcome. Okay, so. Or some food. Okay, you like it then, Sam. Sam likes it. Jose, Jose, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Have we spoken before or is this the first time we've spoken? It's my first time. I've been trying to enter to your class. Cool. Okay, no worries. Now you got a seat. Now you managed to get a seat. That's cool. Okay, and where are you from, Jose? It's some kind of Spanish Portuguese name, I think, yeah? No, no. Uh, I am from Mexico. This is my uh, Jose, is my profile. Your profile name, yeah? So your real name is not Jose, okay? But can I call you Jose, or is there a better name for you? Why? I can hear here hear to you. Can can you hear me? Not so well. Amma, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Cool. Uh, by the way, samosas. Yeah, I love samosas. I know what these are. Yeah, so we we eat these. Are they are they Arabic? Um, Amma. Mm, I, I don't know. Arab. It's rigid uh, Arabic or not. Okay. Yeah, but it's 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 nice. I like samosas. Okay. So Jose, can I call you Jose, or is there another name that you prefer? Okay, for now I'll call you Jose, okay? For now I'll call you... Okay, Akhla is here. How is Akhla? Hi, Martin. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Are you okay? Fine, thank you. Perfect. Okay, and what did you eat? Yeah, so Amma said he ate samosas, so sam sambusa. Um, do you eat these, Akhla? <laughs> well, not today. <laughs> okay, yeah, but you, you like these? Yeah, of course. Cool. Especially Sambusa, they are really delicious. Nice, yeah. So, uh, two people from Saudi. Anyone else from Saudi Arabia? We have... No? Okay, so, uh, Bruno, where are you from? Um, hello, everyone. I'm from Portugal. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you, you, too. And you've got a t-shirt on saying Berlin, yeah? So, have you been to Berlin? No, never. Okay, it's just a cool t-shirt, yeah? It's a cool, cool t-shirt. Okay. And we've got Jano. Jano. Sorry? Uh, we've also got Jano in the gr group, yeah? So nice to meet you, uh, Bruno. We've also got Jano again. How are you, Jano? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Do I know you? Um, yes. Do I? Uh, I'm from China. <laughs> You're from China. Jano yes. from China. Um, I would say, oh, how do, they, <laughs> how do they say it in Chinese? I don't know. But anyway, okay. Um, ni hao. Ni hao, yes. Jano, exactly. Ni Hao. Yeah. Could you reply to me in Chinese? Ni Hao. Good, okay. <laughs> so this is Jano from China, otherwise known as Finland. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who am? How are you? I could complain, but I want the church. 
Sorry? Everything is honky dory. Everything is hunky dory. That's a cool expression. Hunky dory. Uh, is there an E in hunky, I wonder? Dory. Uh, I can't. I don't know how you'd say this. I've never seen this written down. And maybe it's like this. Does anyone he, know? He, he doesn't have a, a grinding teacher, actually, I guess. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've never seen this written down. Hunky dory. Yeah, there's no E. There's no E. Oh, yeah? So it's just without an E. So hunky dory. Like this. Okay, everything is hunky dory. Can you explain what this means to the rest of the group? Yes, it means like everything is peaches and cream. <laughs> okay, you're out. <laughs> wow. You've done your research. Cool. Peaches and cream. Everything's peaches and cream. Everything's hunky dory. Everything's good. Yeah? Everything's Correct. peaches and cream. Great. How everything did you learn this? Everything is smooth and easy. Sorry? Everything is smooth and easy. Smooth and easy. That's another one. Okay, you're, okay this is good. Can I just ask, where did you learn these? Well, online teacher with, with, the, with the website, you know, studying English with the, with the teachers from the U.S. Yes. You picked them up somewhere, yes? Yeah? So that's, that's cool. Everything's hunky-dory. Is everything hunky-dory with Paolo? <laughs> Paolo, is everything hunky-dory with you? I take that, that's a yes. Uh, I can't hear you yet, Paolo. Um, we'll come back to you, just check your microphone settings. Cas Caesar, is that correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. And where are you from? Yes, I'm from Iraq. Nice to It's a part of Iraq. Nice to meet you too. And how do I say your name? Is it Caesar, Kassar? Caesar. Kaiser. Kaiser, that's, that's okay. Kaiser. 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 Cool. Um, so, Kaiser from Iraq, and we've also got Sam again. How are you, Sam? I'm fine, thank you. Cool. Have you eaten dinner today? Since I was in no, between actually, our sessions. No, no, I'm starving. Now you're starving, yeah? Okay, so go and get some food. Um, okay, Yusuf. Yusuf, you look a bit pale. Is everything <laughs> yeah. okay? <laughs> oh my god, that's so creepy! Oh yeah. my god, oh, I can't look! I know, oh. I have told him that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm Yusuf and I'm from Yemen. And yeah. I'm not scary as it's on my camera. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna let you have the full screen again, that was really creepy. <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen that before, that's awesome. Okay, so, uh, we're doing slang. Um, does, <laughs> god. Sorry. Does everyone does anyone know apart from uh, Juan any <laughs> sorry any slang words serious now okay Akla do you remember any slang words which we talked about yesterday or or in general yeah so uh, you were there yesterday I think um I forgot no I forgot oh my god you forgot everything I yeah, will give you a oh. <laughs> I'm a uh. <laughs> <laughs> What should I understand? It's going to be that kind of session, yeah? It's going to be that kind of... Abba, sorry, could you hint to us? I didn't know the word, but uh, I remember... Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I know the, the definition, if you... If someone if uh, if your friend if you have a friend and he c close to s s someone yep yeah really close and 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 you say uh. oh yeah uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> oh yeah smitten yes yeah, smitten yeah to be yeah. to be smitten with someone yeah to be smitten yeah <laughs> smitten <laughs> yeah now I remember do you remember I remember also the, the tenor and the fiver. Yep, yeah, good. Okay, tenor means what? Uh, ten. Oh, God, that's scary. Ten okay. pounds or ten. Ten pounds, and fiver, therefore, is five pounds, right? Yes. Okay, so, um, and how do they say it in Cockney land? So how do they say it in the east of London? Five tenor. pounds, or, or tenor, tenor, yeah? So, or, 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 do you remember the, the slang, rhyming slang, Cockney rhyming slang? Do you remember? Oh, oh my god, I lost my memory. Oh my god. 
No worries. Okay, Lady Godiva. Do you remember? Lady Godiva. Yes, yes. So Lady Godiva, this is the most important thing. I don't know why, but anyway, no. Uh, and Speckle 10 is 10 pounds, yeah? So Speckle 10. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm on you one, <laughs> Smitten, otherwise known as <laughs> uh, Bruno, do you know any British slang? Um, I don't know, unfortunately. I don't no know. worries, that's why you're here, no worries. All right, mate, Jarno, you right, mate? I'm fine, you all right? I'm all right. <laughs> good. Okay, good, good. Um, do you know any more? Have you picked um, up any recently? Uh, do I get any lad, lad points if I know something? <laughs> uh, should we give him lad points? Does anyone know what lad points are? Amma had uh, got lad points yesterday. Can you explain to everyone what a lad point is? Or what lad points are, yeah? Amma, do you remember? No, I don't remember. You just lost your lad points. Okay. <laughs> Jara, can you explain? No, no, to no, no. I, I, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I see, remember. You give me uh, some lad points. Okay, oh, I, you got them yesterday. You made some joke. Yeah. I think it was Peter, with Peter. <laughs> but now you've, you're, you're close to losing your lad points. You've got two seconds to recover them. Arma, can you explain what lad points are? If I uh, got, uh, uh, if I told uh, a good, very good joke and they laugh. Yeah, and you get lad points. You get points for being a lad. Yeah, so a yes. lad as in the man. The man. I'm a yeah. the man. <laughs> good chap. Okay, good chap. Yes. Biffing. Okay, right, okay. Uh, Teacher. Yes, please. I'm a still in a fuck about what you're saying. You're in a fog. Yes, I didn't attend your class yesterday, so all the idioms that you're teaching or that you're mentioning, I never heard of such a thing. No worries. Don't worry. You're not the only one. Okay. So we're going to um, we're going to go over them a bit. Um, not too much detail, but uh, basically, lad points um, is what we say. Do, a lad is a typical bloke, like Peter wrote in the chat box. A bloke is like a man. So. A, a lad is like a, a really cool guy, yeah? So that's a lad. And if you get lad points, it means you do something that makes you more of a cooler guy. Yes? So, for example, like saying a really good joke or, um, I don't know, having a really cool car, yeah? So you get lad points for these things. For example, Yusuf can get lad points because of it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yusuf gets lad points for this. Oh my god, that's so. How did you get this, Yusuf? I don't know. It's a filter. It's just in my, cam uh, just in my cam uh, camera apps. So. And I, I thought you were going to like it, so that's why I, I always put it in my computer class. It's quite cool, yeah? So it's quite. Wow. It's creepy um, eyes. Oh my yeah, God. I'm now I've got used to it. No, it's just the first shock. I thought it was just a still picture, then I saw it moving. I was like, oh. <laughs> it moves as, as I move, it moves the same. So. I, I <laughs> just <laughs> noticed. I just noticed it. Noticed you, sir. Uh, Peter asked, are there also bloke points? No, yeah, because blokes are not quite cool enough to have points. Um, although bloke is a cooler name, but um, for, for man, blokes are not quite cool enough to have points. Um, Kesar, are you yes. lost? Are you lost somewhere? Do you understand? Yes, please. Do you understand? I or understand, you yes. Yeah. Have we lost, lost. anyone? Uh, Sam, have we lost you? Did you understand? No, we did not lost me. I'm, I'm with you, but yes, maybe they are very new for me, but I, I'm learning. You can follow. Um, do you have any questions, Paolo? No. And no, no. why is not a question? <laughs> Okay, suitable question for this time. Okay, you, no questions, it's okay. Cool. Peter managed to jump in somehow. How? Peter, how are you? That's a good. Okay, uh, we'll come back to you, Peter, when it's, when it's loaded. Um, Juan knows a lot of slang. Paolo, do you know any slang? Slang. The crackers might. Sorry? The crackers was might. The crackers might, did you say? Could you write this down in the chat box, please? 
The crackers might, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, while you're doing that, we'll ask Kaysa. Kaysa, do you know any British slang? It is now the real speaking, right? Uh, yeah, uh, okay, okay. So that's a good, good question. What is slang? So slang is the language we use with friends, uh, with family, um, to not sound too formal, yeah? Uh, because yes, if it's you, not formal. Yes, yeah, so not formal. So, so, sort of things you don't really learn unless you walk the streets, yeah? So street language. Yeah. Yeah, but not just young people language, not just old people language, but everybody uses this kind of slang, yeah? So yes. you probably have some in, in your language as well, yeah? So in Arabic, I guess, yeah? No, Kurdish. Kurdish. We are talking okay. Kurdish. Okay. 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 Kurdish. You speak Kurdish. Yeah. Kurdish. Cool. Yes. Crack. Someone asked what the crack is. This is actually kind of Irish slang, but we say it. Ah, up for the crack. But this is Irish slang, and it means for the fun, I think. Wait, so are the, uh, the crack was mighty. Basically, you had fun. You had fun. Yeah, it's not to do with drugs or anything like that. It's yes. just, oh, we're up for the crack. Yeah, so we're having jokes. We're having fun. That's what it means. Yeah, so the crack. Yes, that, but that's crack. Irish. Fatty tart. Johnny, what the hell are you talking about? Fatty tart. I, I just remembered something. I don't know. Is this, is this some kind of slang? Fatty uh, tart, you know, insulting someone? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Okay, a tard comes from the word, uh, this can be offensive, wait, retard, have you, do you know, do you know what this word means? Mm, yeah, disabled, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is offensive guys, so don't, don't use it as a derogatory term maybe, but a retard is a slang word, no, okay, that's, don't learn that, that's not, not so good, but um, a fatty tard, you can say someone who's fat and a bit Special. Special. Yeah, yes. I understand you. <laughs> unique. Yeah. <laughs> so unique. Okay. Yes. So uh, yeah. So that, let's go offensive. Although I have to, Jono, it said yeah. So it, it said, but maybe not 100% PC. Okay. So this, or you can say a the F word and then tard. Yeah. So that's used quite a lot. So. Um, guys, can I just get a verbal contract from you? I did this yesterday. Um, Akhla, okay, I, I'm just going to ask you guys I'm if it's... I'm your mom today, I'm, I'm going to be your mom. Okay, so I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to allow everything. Not everything, okay, so um, I need to see how far we can go, okay, because a lot of slang is, you know, casual language, and part of casual language is maybe slightly inappropriate language. Um, so if anyone's got any objections, just let me know now, yeah, so how far it can go. So, uh, Amma, how is it? Uh, how far you go? How far can I can we go with the slang? Bear in mind, Akhla's already told me not too far, yeah? She's she's the mum. No, I think uh, uh, you're the teacher, uh, you can do everything deep, go deep. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a slang class, so we don't have to be that formal. Just let it be go where it is. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, Kesa, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, Kesa, are Please. you up for it? You up for it? Are you okay? Up for it? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, yes, so let's thanks. let's try. Uh, Juan knows every, everything ever, anyway, so is it okay? Okay, okay. And <laughs> Sam. Could you confirm? You've all signed the contract now. Sam. Oh, okay, make yourself comfortable. Okay, good. Okay, so, um, yeah, so <laughs> a... <laughs> okay, I won't say this word, but a... Tard is not very nice to say, okay? But because Jano has said this... By the way, sorry, I get confused. Jano or Jano? Um, Jarno in Finland. Jarno, okay, Jarno, yeah. okay. So, uh... Tard is a very, very bad word, okay? So don't use it, but if you hear this, if someone describes you as a tard, then you know it's not very polite, okay? That's all you need to know, okay? For this one, for this one. Okay? Yes. Good. Understood. Good. Uh, if I said to you, bog roll, what does this mean? Bog roll. This is okay, this is not rude. Bog roll. 
bog roll. What is bog roll? Bog roll, I don't know. Sam, do you know bog roll? Um, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to show you bog roll. That's bog roll. Oh. So, a bog is just a toilet, a bog, or a loo, yeah? I'm popping to the loo. I'm popping to the loo. Okay, this means I'm going for a wee or a poo, yeah? I'm popping to the loo, um, and in the loo, in the toilet, you'll find bog roll. Yeah, so you can say, uh, mum, wife, sister, whatever, uh, we've run out of bog roll. Yeah, meaning, can you buy some more toilet paper? We've run out of bog roll. Bog roll or toilet paper. Toilet paper, yes, toilet paper. Did everyone understand that one? Bog roll. That's quite a simple one, yeah, I think. Bog roll. I'll write this down. Yes. Oh, I've written down. Very good, very good. You like it? You approve? Yep. You're well chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those who didn't hear, who wasn't here yesterday, at uh, well chuffed or to be chuffed to bits. Can someone explain who was here? To be chuffed to bits. Uh, let's ask Achla to explain. To be chuffed to bits. I don't remember at all this word. No worries. Uh, who was here? Peter was here, but he's gone. Amar, can you explain chuffed to bits? I think. Uh you, you you can't be beaten? Not quite, yeah, not quite. No. Yarno. Okay, very pleased. Very, very happy. Pleased. Very happy, yeah, so I'm yeah. well chuffed to bits. I'm chuffed to bits that you could all come to my class. Yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. I'm well chuffed that you could come. Meaning I'm happy that you could come, yeah? I'm chuffed to bits. I'm well chuffed. Paolo. Okay, hello. Are you chuffed to bit right now? Thank you. That's a yes. Okay, good answer. Kesa, are you chuffed to bit right yes. now? Yes. Good answer. Uh, Skullface, are you chuffed to bit right now? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see that? Okay, sorry, sorry. Does it work? If you move your eyes, does it move your its eyes with it? <laughs> yeah, I think if he s speak aloud, yeah, he will speak. Oh, speak aloud, aloud. That is a freaky skull. That should be banned. That shouldn't be allowed. And what he is, is he's smiling too. He's smiling. <laughs> Happy skull. Good. <laughs> oh, I can't look. Uh, Yusuf is a nutter. Yeah, Yusuf is a, a, a complete nutter. Yusuf, yes. you're a nutter. Do you realize? Do you understand? <laughs> Nutter. No, what does it mean? Uh, I don't know. It needs no explanation. You've got a skull moving as your t display picture, <laughs> yeah? Just understand. Nutter, Nutter. Crazy. Crazy guy, yeah, you're a crazy guy. Yeah? It's a bit like crazy, but more, less, less so serious. Yeah? Nutter. Um, Dway. Can you hear us? Yes. And where are you from, Dway? I'm from Colombia. Nice to meet you, Dway. Okay, so we're nice talking to about meet you too. cool. We're talking about British slang. Do you know any British slang? Are you familiar with any? Uh, I think that I know some. Okay, let us know. Okay, so what slang have you come across? What do you know about? Uh, really? No, no, I, I don't remember one. No worries, but you have you have heard something. I need to get a verbal contract from you. I got it from everyone else. Um, there, it's not going to be. They're not going to be inappropriate words, but they're going to be maybe less, um, a bit more casual than maybe uh, what the prime minister would speak. Yeah. So, um, Dway, do we get your your signature? Uh, excuse me. Um, do you ex uh, are you okay to hear some slang that maybe is not 100% um, correct English? Oh uh, yes. Okay, perfect, cool. Okay, in that case, uh, yeah. So uh, we were talking so far. Who can uh, fill him in on what we were talking about? So, uh, Kay, sir, some slang yes. that we've talked about so far. Could you explain to Dway, who just came? Kesa, could you please explain um, to Dway 
what a nutter is, what I'm chuffed to bits means. I don't understand, sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Yeah, I don't expect because it. To I can explain it. Please, yes, please. Chuffed to bits, it's like a very glad to join the class or you're, I'm chuffed to bits to be attending the class, for example. Like a very glad. Yeah, very happy, very glad about it. You're chuffed a bit. I'm really happy. Yeah. Is that so, <laughs> so yes. I can't take Yusuf. I can't take you seriously so much now. Okay. Sorry. Say that again, Yusuf. Yeah, I have a question. Please. I, I understand the meaning of the of the word, but can you write it down the word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll write it in the verbling chat box again. So chuffed to bits. To be chuffed to bits means really, really happy or well chuffed. Well chuffed. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a problem with the Berlin chat. Can you read it in the chat of Google? No problem. Yep. Yeah, okay. So chuffed to bits and also uh, well chuffed. Oh, yes. Thank you. An expression to say peaches and cream in really sh slang picture. Mm. You should have one, I guess, or more than one. Uh, peach and cream. What does it exactly mean? Yeah, so it's American, isn't it? Yeah, so what yes, exactly it's, does it it's mean? It's like uh, everything is going well, everything is going great. Hunky dory, uh, everything's hunky dory, everything's easy, pe no, smooth, smooth. I can't think of one up the, up the top of my head actually. For yeah, example, so if a friend of you asks you, hey, how are you? For him, we're, we're for to example, say pretty good, pretty good. But that's not really slang, yeah? So pretty good. Yes. Or, yeah, and, all right, you're not too bad. Something like that. We'd say pretty good. Uh, but that's not slang. But um, we're all hunky dory. Everything's hunky dory. We'd use that as well. Uh, but pretty good. But that's not slang at all. Um, can anyone else think of any? So, Amar, have you heard one in British English? We need Peter in the room. Peter, if you're watching, please could you write any um, any ones that you've maybe heard because you lived in the UK for quite a long time. Uh, British accent and slang are difficult to understand, Edma said. Yes, I agree with you. Yusuf, your eyes are green, your smile is wide. I don't know why someone wouldn't like you. Bob, uh, Peter, uh, you're there. You're writing the chat box. Do you know uh, an expression to mean everything's going well, yeah? So everything's, I can't think of any uh, one on top of my head, actually. Jano, do you example, know? The, there is another expression, teacher, when, okay. when someone asks you, hey, how are you? You said, you, you said um, I'm swell. That's American, that's American, yeah? So they say things like that. Uh, I would say pretty good or... Um, <laughs> smoothly, next to smoothly. Sorry? S smoothly. Uh, everything's going smoothly. No, it sounds too formal. Yeah. So everything's going smoothly. I'd just say that, pretty good. Pretty good. That, that's not a slang, right? No, yeah. Smoothly is not a slang. Tickle pink to attend this class over and over. Cool. Um, yeah, so Jano, did you pick any? Jano, did you pick any up in, in London? Because I don't think we have one that would translate yeah, from American like this. So peaches and cream. We wouldn't say this, really. Um. Nothing comes mind now, but like over the moon, but it's it's too formal. Yeah, over the moon is one, yeah. but that's a bit formal. So yeah. over the, I'm over the moon with my exam results. Yeah, I'm chuffed yeah. a bit. So I'm, I'm well so chuffed. wicked, like. <laughs> uh, no, but no, I, yeah, quite. yeah. But I'm over the moon. I'm, I am. Um, I'm on <sighs> cloud nine. You could say, but that's not. Yeah. That's not slang. That's not slang. That's just no. an expression. So really, there's no expression, there's no slang word that I can think of that would uh, mean peaches and cream, yeah? So that's, that's kind of American. But you can just say, oh, I'm well chuffed about something, yeah? So I'm well chuffed, um, everything's going well. Yeah, yeah? that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, but I would say, if someone said to me, how are things, I would say pretty good. Or usually, British just say fine, yeah, to everything. Fine, uh, uh, what did you do? I said, yeah, yeah, it was still fine, fine. We say fine a lot. It can't be fact. Okay, so uh, any other ones that you've come across, Huan? Yeah, so you're quite familiar with American slang, I would say. Any American slang, you, well, most American slang you could probably use in the UK, and it would sort of be understood because we're familiar with American uh, TV shows and things like that. You're, we're probably more Ameri uh, aware of their slang than they are of our slang because we see their TV shows, they don't see our TV shows. Yeah, so um, Huan, do you know any others? 
Uh, any other British for, slang? For example, like, um, let it rip. Let it rip, yep, yeah. okay, let it rip, as in go, go, go. Yeah, let it rip, let it start. Yeah? Release it, let's go, let's go. Yeah? Yeah? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Cool. That's the name. Wait, do you know any? Toledo. Sorry? The other expression is Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Could you Holy write this down? Toledo. Yeah, it's like saying um, when you are doing something and. Yeah. And suddenly, uh, uh, for example, you were scared. Instead of holy shit, you said holy Toledo. Holy moly, yeah, this one, holy that's moly. American. I think holy moly is American, but we say it. Holy moly, yeah, oh, yikes. Oh, crap. Yeah, something like that. Something. We, in fact, Americans would say yikes, we would say, oh, crap. Yeah, oh, yeah, so... Something like that. Holy moly! Yeah, you can say that, but that's more American, I'd say. Uh, so for the sake of that, don't don't worry too much about this. Easy peasy. Yusuf put easy peasy. That is a common one. Yeah. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Do you know this? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I know it. How do you can say it? Like, oh, it's a snap, right? So easy easy peasy lemon squeezy. So what? Sorry, did you say? Uh, also, it's the same term. You can say something describing something easy. You say like, it's a snap. It's a snap, yeah. So it's as in no effort, yeah. So no effort. It's a snap, uh, but easy peasy it would be more common than saying it's a snap. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, for example, or I, I walked it, yeah. For example, if someone says how was your exam and you found it easy, you can say uh, easy peasy, or you can say I walked it, yeah. Meaning it was so so uh, so simple. You didn't have to make any effort. You could just walk. You could just. Sit in the exam room, write a like few answers, fish in and, a barrel, right? and Bob's your uncle. Sorry? Like fish in a barrel. Yeah, right? easy peasy. So easy peasy, fish in a barrel, and Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. I walked it. Yeah, Yusuf, I, uh, I walked it means um, something was so easy. So if your friend asks you how something was, uh, you, did you pass your driving test? And you didn't just pass a little bit, but you passed very, very well. You can say, I walked it. Yeah, I walked oh, it. Is it the same? How do you write it? Uh, one second. Yeah, as Yusuf put, yeah, I walked it. Someone put. Is there a slang to say green and barret in, in U, UK? Sorry, could you say that again? Is there a slang to say just green and barret? You're, you're doing a merit. Green and Barrett, like this. Okay, he wrote example, Green and Barrett, Green and Barrett, yeah, yeah, exactly. Green and Barrett, that just means, yeah, that, smile and endure what you're doing, yeah? So, for example, if, you're, if your boss wants to tell you off for doing something, um, he's going, you're doing it wrong, you're always doing it wrong, you're always doing it wrong, you're just Green and Barrett. <laughs> yeah, yes. so... Is there an expression in the, uni in, in the UK to that's say that? That's what we say, that's what we say, grin and bear it. Yeah, so that's, that's what we would say. I'm really gutted I couldn't join the class. Uh, Peter, you can join in later, I'm sure. Um, hard lines, we've got got a black eye and holy mackerel. Yeah, uh, got a black eye, does everyone know what a black eye is? So, Achla, what is a black eye? It's uh, the uh, scar or the... Um Maybe a scar on eye after fighting, or yeah. So, for example, if uh, I don't know, K Star and Dway got into a fight, and Dway punched K Star, Dway may I don't know, yeah, I don't know what it's like, but may give K Star a black eye, meaning um, and then you've got mark. Uh, it looks dark around here, yeah, because of, of oh, bruising. Yeah. And Sam put, you've got to be pulling my leg, yeah? Do you know what this means? To pull someone's leg. To force him to do something. I want to again. Fool him. Uh, no. yeah. So to pull someone's leg is to fool them, to make a joke. It's coming up to April Fool's Day soon, yeah? Does everyone, sell, does everyone know what this is in their country? So April the 1st in the UK, uh, April Fool's Day is, is April Fool's Day. Do you know what I'm talking about, Akhla? Would you write that, please? Okay, April Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah, the first day of April. Yeah. Is so, it? 
April Fool's Day. One second. April Fool's Day. Uh, the first day in April, and what happens on this day, Akhla? Yeah, when everyone is allowed to make a prank or a lie to others or a joke. Yes. Uh, so, a prank. Does everyone understand prank? Yes, anyway. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm easy, yeah, I'm easy. Ah, that's a good one, actually. By the way, I'm going to explain this now before I forget. I'm easy, meaning I'm not complicated. Uh, for example, if you go into a pub, and your friend goes, oh, I will buy the first round. Meaning, I will buy the first lot of drinks. I'll buy the first round. One second. I'll buy the first round. That means I will pay for your drink first. We usually have, in, in pub culture, we usually have rounds. So each friend will buy what we call a round. Um, and if your friend goes to you, what drink would you like? Would you like to drink beer? Would you like to drink cider? Would you like to drink, I don't know, ale? Then you would say, "Oh, I'm easy," meaning just buy whatever comes. I don't care what it is. Yes, I, I'm, e I'm easy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's the first round. Did everyone understand so far um, what a round is? Jarno, did you ever buy a round for anyone? Um, if I had had money, I would have bought, but, but, but. So if you have <laughs> money, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. So. It's expensive to buy ten drinks for. Everyone. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right. But but sometimes something was on me, so so yeah. so. On you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's on me. Yeah, it's yeah. on me. What does this mean? Uh, it's on my treat. Uh, it's um, it's my treat. Um, I buy. Yeah. I offer something. So it's my treat. It's on me, meaning I'll buy it, and it's. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's my treat. Yeah. Perfect. If you go to a pub, usually it's very very rude not to offer to buy a round. Yeah? So if you ever go to a pub in the UK um, and you're with a group of people, usually someone will say, okay, I'll take the first round, we'll order the drinks for you, and then you alternate. Yeah? So then the next person buys a round, then the next person buys a round. It's rude to pay for your own drinks. Yeah? So uh, even you're paying the same amount of money because you're buying the same amount of drinks, um, and everyone does this. It's just rude to pay individually, yeah? So know that if you ever experience this. Mm. It's okay. the opposite in the United States, right? Who said that, Juan? Yes. It, it, it is the opposite in the United States. Everyone asks for separate checks, you know? Yeah, it's not Everyone friendly. Everyone buy not their friendly. own, yes. Okay, so you're saying everyone buys their own drinks. Well, it depends, yeah? So younger people and stuff, students would probably buy their own drinks, yeah? But if you're with a group of people earning money, um, then you would, some will offer around first. If you're the guest, then of course, if you're not new to this group, then you wouldn't buy the first round. That would be not normal. But some will offer to buy the first round, but then you must also offer afterwards. You shouldn't just take the drink. It's not a gift. You should also buy a round afterwards. And this is why people drink a lot. Yeah, it's because if you've got eight friends, that's eight rounds, that's eight drinks. You know, it can, can get quite a lot. Uh, a pub crawl, Jarno explained. Okay, w did you go on a pub crawl by any chance? Um, yeah, I, we we went uh, a few times. Um, just you know, we were on food and and then then we just walked and find proper pubs for us. So how was the headache? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. I didn't have. Um, okay. I treat. I treated my. You know, after after bar, we went to have. You know, lots of food, kebab, and. So it's okay, yeah. So yeah. Um, a pub crawl for those who don't know. Does anyone else know what a pub crawl is? Um, yeah, it's, it's like when you uh, when you like take a tour from pub to pub for other pub. Mm. <laughs> well, you crawl from pub to pub. Maybe at first you you walk to the pub. You go to the first pub. You buy a round, someone buys you a round or something, maybe you buy a couple of rounds, then you go to the next pub, then you go to the next pub. You're just basically doing a tour <laughs> of the pubs. Um, yeah. And by the end of it, you start really to crawl, maybe, yeah? So it can get too, too much. But that's a pub crawl, yeah? Um, and on the house means basically for free. And quite often in the UK, there'll be a happy hour, yeah? So a happy hour is basically where they say, um, 
yeah, you don't have to pay for any drinks within this hour. It's all free. It's on the house, meaning the pub will pay for it for you. Yeah, usually it can be for some marketing campaign or it can be just because usually the pubs are quite close and everyone in the community pubs knows each other. Yeah, so sometimes the owner of the pub will say, oh, it's a happy hour. Yeah, we'll or ring the bell. Or an open bar, right? Or an open bar. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the same. Yeah, so an open bar in, in, in England, we'll say happy hour. Open bar, you don't have to pay for anything. Yeah? And it, you don't have to take alcohol in the happy hour, yeah? So for those who don't drink, you don't have to take um, alcohol. You can take any drink, usually, unless they, they specify, unless they say, okay, this beer or that wine. You can take unlimited Coke or whatever, yeah? So um, it's, it's quite good. Uh, pub quiz, that's also something you would do at the pub. Jarno, did you ever do this? Um, got enough, yeah, got enough. Okay, uh, but you know it I'm was just rubbish at this. Uh, normally, we just you know ask some questions, and then um, the person who didn't know had to buy, you know, after yeah. after that. So yeah, so it's kind of like a a, a thing because often um, the pubs is not just all about drinking, yeah. So it's a place you go to meet friends, you talk about things. It's not just like people go into pubs and all of a sudden they get drunk, you know. It's kind of um, they organize events, they organize karaoke events, they organize um, quiz nights they, uh, for prizes and things like that. So it's kind of like a community feel. In London it's a bit different because um, you get in the East End you get some really traditional pubs but usually they're kind of quite busy because people are going there to drink to catch up with their workmates and things like that. But in the towns, in the, the villages, in the countryside, um, it's a very, very, commu it's very, it's like a hub of the community. It's the center of the community, I would say. Um, some questions. Yeah, <laughs> Peter, that's good. Um, I'll go back to the previous ones, but I'll just mention this. And after all those rounds, you have to spend a penny. <laughs> Do you know what this means? To spend a penny. To spend a penny. The way, do you understand this? To spend a penny? Um, no. Akla, do you understand to spend a penny? A mite? A penny? Sorry? A mite? A penny? Uh, so a penny, I'll show you what a penny is first of all. One sec, I think I have one. Somewhere. Uh, so it's, it's our... some money. <laughs> yes, so it's some money. Here's a penny. Okay, so yes. this is 1p with the queen, I think that's, yeah, the queen on the back. That's 1p, that's the lowest money we have. And to spend a penny is not really to spend the penny. Traditionally it was, but to spend a penny just means to go to the toilet, yeah? <laughs> I, need to, I need to spend a penny because before, in the olden times, it would cost one penny to use the toilet. Now it's free, yeah? So in, in London you have to pay, but um, usually in pubs and things like that it's free. Uh, but people still say, I need to spend a penny. Or pop to the loo, yeah? Yes. So pop to the loo, I'm going to spend a penny. So if I say that to you guys, oh sorry, one minute I'm going to uh, spend a penny, it doesn't mean I'm going to the shop and buying something for 1p, yeah? So it means I'm, I need to, pss, yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, sir, do you understand? To spend a penny to go to the toilet, do you understand? <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Maybe he he got to have spent a penny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How can I, yeah, yeah, how can I use that? the expression Her Majesty Pleasure? Her Majesty's Pleasure. Does anyone know this? Majesty. Her Majesty's Pleasure. An an honor or something like that. Your Majesty, sir. Peter, do you know this one? He's uh, to go to bathroom. Uh, Her Majesty's pleasure. It's basically, um, I think it's to go in prison. Is that true? To go in prison. Yes. Is I forgot. How I can I use it? Uh, to, okay. So, uh, where's Jack? Yeah, I haven't seen Jack in a long time. Ah, oh, yeah, he's Her Majesty's pleasure. Yes. Yeah? So, basically, because the the prison force in the UK is um, own, well, it's Her Majesty's something or other. Everything is HM. So, for example, the tax office is HM Revenue and Customs, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. The prison force is also Her Majesty's prison or whatever. So, Her Majesty's Greatness. Pleasure, um, Her Majesty is basically what we call the Queen. Yeah. So, is it a greatness? 
Yeah, her greatness, her greatness, yeah, her, her, her wonderfulness, yeah, so her majesty is what we call the queen, his majesty would be the king when the queen pops her clogs. And what about horses for courses? Horses for courses, do you know this? <laughs> Horses for courses. One second. For courses. Does anyone know this one? Horses for courses. Does anyone know this one? No. 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 Uh, Yano, did you come up with this one? Yes. What does it mean? Won't work for someone else. Don't work for anyone else. Yeah? It's not horses for courses. You don't want to work for anyone else. Okay? So, horses for courses. Big ears beer. What? Big ears beer? I've never heard of this. You're on, uh, Yano, what's this? Is it, I think it's, you know, um, um, meaning beer. Big ears meaning beer. The rhyming slang. Is it? Big ears, beer, okay, could be, yeah, so beers, big ears, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that could be, uh, Cock Cockney, uh, we had some questions, I have splashed out too much that they don't let me in, okay, to splash out, to splash out, what does this mean? To splash out. So, uh, for example, Amma does not mm -hmm. splash out for petrol. To spend the money? Doesn't need to spend a lot of money, yeah? To splash out. Uh, for example, your friend comes up to you and says, Ah, okay, well, says to me, Martin, I, well, I've got a friend who's done this. Martin, I've just bought a new car. Oh, I'm going on holiday. Ah, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm buying this. I'm buying this. Ah, oh, mate, you're splashing out a bit, aren't you? To show off. Because. Uh, um, just spending a lot of money, yeah? Yes. So, oh, today I feel like splashing out, yeah? So, um, today I feel like spending a lot of money. Yeah. So, for example, yeah, if um, Amma said to me, he's trading in his, is that a Suzuki? No, not a Suzuki, it's a uh, Zubaru, sorry. Zubaru, yeah, legacy. Okay, so if I said, if you said to me, Martin, I'm going to swap the Zubaru for uh, Rolls Royce, then I'll say, Amma, you're splashing out. Rolls <laughs> Zubaru for uh, to Rolls Rolls Royce, yeah. A biggest, uh, a, a big splash out. A big splash out, yeah. That would be a, a major splash out, a major splash out. Um, so to spend lots of money, Alex, yeah. So uh, to splash out, to spend lots of money. Who likes to splash out? So, skull face here. Yes. <laughs> skull. I, I never thought I'd be speaking <laughs> to a skull. Skull face. Uh, do you like to splash out? Well, it depends. Sometimes you have to. Maybe you need to splash out and get some skin. Okay. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, to splash out. Do you like to splash out? Oh, he's gone. He's gone to spend a penny. Okay, sir. Do you like to splash out? Okay, sir. Do you like to spend a lot of money? That's okay. We'll, we'll come back to you, Juan. Juan, do you like to splash out? Sometimes, teacher. It depends on on the bar. The case. It depends what it is. It doesn't always have to be uh, to do with drink or anything like this. It just means to spend a lot of money. So, uh, I'm, uh, you might buy a new phone one day, then a new car the next day, uh, then new clothes, then you always new things. You like to splash out. But it's used sarcastically, yeah? For example, you could say, um, if someone clearly has an old phone, something you could say, ah, okay, um, ah, you, you look like you've splashed out, yeah? As, as sarcast, sarcastic. Yeah. For example, <laughs> if I bring an old Nokia 3210, ah, you've splashed out, yeah? So, um, something like that, yeah? It's, it's sarcastic, not always literally. It depends on the bar I'm in at the time, yeah? So, is it so in your country, Juan? Do they have these things like happy hours? Yes, teacher, we can have happy hours, open bars, among other uh, ways to, uh, to attract people, you know, to, to get a crowded bar. Yes. Full. So um, after you've 
went to the bar and you've ha had a happy hour, you've experienced this, you might want to crash out, yeah? So I put this as well. Can you see crash out? To crash out. Yes. What does this mean? Uh, Akhla, do you know crash out? To relax, maybe? Yes. So you go on your bed, you jump on your bed and you're like, ah, yeah? Yeah, finished, finished. I No more lay energy. Down to, lay, to lie down, to crash out. <laughs> uh, to, usually you see a bed, you jump on it, and you're like, ah, that's yes. it, yeah? No one's, uh, yeah, you're to yourself for the rest of the time. Uh, Dway, do you like to splash out and do you like to crash out? To splash out. Do you like to splash out? Okay, have you crashed out? Can you hear me? I'm sorry? Uh, can you hear me? Do you like to splash out? Yes. Okay, and what does this mean? Yeah, so uh, what, what do you like to splash out on? To splash out means to... I don't know how, how to explain the, the word. It's when you, for example, you... I don't know, maybe... Can I say the uh, similar verb? Sprinkle, spatter. To so sprinkle powder, did you say? To so sprinkle. Yes, it's, yes, because I don't know how can explain it. Okay, uh, basically, it just means you want to spend spend the dosh. Yeah, spend the dosh. You want to uh, oh, splash. Uh, the dosh is also another way of saying money. Yeah, so the dosh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, do you like to spend the dosh? Something yes. you splash out on. So, oh, that's a lot of dosh, yeah? So, Amar, yes. your car is expensive. Uh, oh, it must have cost a lot of dosh, yeah? So, a lot of dosh. Um, so, do you, what kind of things would you splash out on, Dway? So in what clubs. Kind of things? In clubs. clubs. Yes. Okay, you'd splash out in clubs. Yeah? You'd spend a lot of money in clubs. Yes. Um, Beirouz, have I spoken to you? Did I let you introduce yourself? No, you didn't. That was you rude of me. I haven't spoken to I'm sorry, okay. It's not a problem, maybe you didn't just quite catch me. No worries. Okay, so how are you and where are you from? I'm just okay. Not fine, but okay. So so, yeah, you're so so. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am from Algeria. Perfect. Nice yes. to meet you. Okay, so do you know any like British slang? Too. Do you know sorry? any do you know any British slang? Maybe um, slang that we haven't talked about so far. Have you heard any? Which slang? Slang, British slang, slang from England. British, or British. British, yep, British. <laughs> Although I speak American English, but I'll try somehow. No problem, no problem. Okay, we'll see. Okay, uh, douchebag. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was, it was within you. Yes, yeah? so to say all these things. A douchebag, <laughs> but actually, you. Uh, it's a douchebag. It's spelled like this. A douche. Oh, you're such a douche. You're such okay. a douchebag. You're such a, mm, yeah, you're such a douchebag. Yeah? Um, dosh means money, Alex. Yeah, so dosh just means cash. Money. Um, I like to splash, Jano said, I like to splash out and after that crash out. Jano, what do you splash out on? What do you splash your cash on? Um, maybe food. <laughs> food? Yeah. Okay, and how much would you spend on food? So, as in, if you went to a restaurant, how much would you splash out? Mm, maybe, maybe 50 quid. 50 quid! 50 quid! <laughs> 50 quid! 50 quid! Okay, so next time I go to Finland, next time you're in London, you're inviting me, yeah? <laughs> but it's not a lot. In it? Finland, yeah? So, 50 quid per person, do you think? Per person? Mm. Yeah, maybe fifty. It's not bad for one night. In London, oh yeah, for for a whole night, not just for food. I'm saying, yeah. So you're saying? Yeah, food and drinks and. Yeah, okay. Know. For drinks, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. I thought you meant for the food. I was like, where'd you go? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, how long have you been up the duff? To be up the duff means. Does anyone know? Uh, Yusuf, do you know? To be mm, up the no. duff. To no, be no. up the duff means uh, to be pregnant, yeah? So she's up the duff. 
It sounds very chavvy, actually. <laughs> so if it sounds very chavvy. Um, I'll put this as well. Uh, I want to ask about uh, crash over. You were talking about crash out. Crash yeah. over. Uh, it is in. It is in American English. I, I don't know about British. Would you like to crash over at my place? Yeah. Would you like to sleep at my place? You go. Um, you go out, and maybe it's too late. Yes. Yeah? So you say, "I'll crash over at my place." You can say that. That's British as well. So crash over. Does everyone know this? Yes. Okay, Kubra, nice to speak with you. Kubra, can you hear us? Hello. Nice to speak with you. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Perfect. Nice to speak with you. We're speaking about. Nice to you too. We're speaking about British slang. Do you know any? Do you know any British slang? Uh, I I. I work to uh, understand <laughs> uh, because I can't understand. Sorry, I I have to go. <laughs> no problem. Okay, take care, Kubra. Take care. Uh, okay. No bye. Bye bye. See you, see you later. Okay, so um, up the duff means pregnant. So she she she's up the duff. Yeah. Um. You it, usually it's a bit chavvy. So a chav. What is a chav? Yeah. No, you must know. Did you see lots of chavs? Um, are there some uh, snobby rich people? No, no opposite. Yeah. Opposite. So, uh, oh uh, yeah, young youngsters, you know, hanging around. In it do, in it do. Let's mush up, yeah, me, yeah. What you do, yeah. That's chav, yeah. That's yeah, a chav. chav. Exactly, yes. Okay, so uh, up the duff sounds a bit chavvy, yeah. So, for example, if the if the girl says to you, um, oh, "I'm 12 years old." And I've got a ba I'm I'm pregnant. <coughs> you say ah, she's up the duff. Yeah, it's a bit like this. Yeah, it's not it's not so um, classy, shall we say? Yes, yeah? so <laughs> you would say oh, my girlfriend's up the duff. You could say that, yeah, but it sounds a bit yeah, a bit chavvy, a bit like this. Um, okay, so uh, quickly before we go, I'm just going to answer any more questions. I'm continuing on in the next session if you'd like to join, but just to make sure we've covered everything everyone's written, uh, we've got. Wedding crashes. A gate crasher. Do you know what a gate crasher is? A great gate crasher. Uh, are they, you know, the people who go to weddings and without invitation? Uh, in without invitation. Invitation. So, yeah. Akla, i.e., otherwise known as Mum, um, has <laughs> gate crashed my party. Yes. <laughs> no, Akla. Okay. So, um, to to gate crash. Do you know what this means? Yes. Yeah? So to go without invitation. To just yes. turn up. Just to turn up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a private party, and you, you go, hey, yeah, yeah, and you start partying, and you're like, what is he <laughs> doing there? Yeah, he shouldn't be here. Um, and any more. So, Peter, I will leave you now for a good nosh up, yeah, to, to eat food. Nosh uh, is food. So, posh nosh is luxury food. Posh nosh. Like, for example, the food that Yano would buy for 50 quid, yeah, posh nosh. And to leg it, the last one before I go to the next session, uh, to leg it is to run off really quickly. So, for example, if your friend steals something, he would say, leg it, leg it, yeah, go quickly. Yeah, leg it, meaning run. Guys, I'm going to turn over to the new session. It's going to continue on with this, so hopefully you can all join. Alexandra, I didn't say hello to you, but try and join him with the next one, okay, if you can. See you in a minute, guys, okay? Take care. See you in a minute, hopefully. Okay.